raspberry cream twirl I haven't done an update on this rose in a long time and the last video I did was back in spring when it had its gorgeous flush and um, since spring I think it it had a few more um, not not a whole lot but since then oh my goodness it has been struggling with between heat and then chilly thrips throughout summer up until now September it's finally putting out another flush right here I mean as you can see not a whole lot but there are um, several buds in the making that will open up really soon and let me tell you my goodness I don't know what's going on I can't tell if it's heat or chili thrips like maybe I would say almost 50% of the plants it has this brown um, like I still have some over here that I'm going to show you like that yellow brownish I don't thing is um, drainage issues I first thought maybe okay that may be an indication of heat stress which I'm still not quite sure exactly but the leaves turn out like that like I said about 50% and so I had to remove many of them it's like crispy and like that um, so I had no idea what's going on it didn't look well at all but I mean it's hanging in here and I kept stripping down those leaves and continue to spray the um, wash down the foliages throughout um, the summer because I think there's a lot of thrip damage to it that maybe cause it to be stressed and as you can see like right over here it it sure has um, chili thrip damage because when you flip the other side of the foliages you see those brown things in the back right there and this cluster over here the buds over here will bloom pretty soon but you can see there's a lot of chili thrip damages everywhere and I heard that if um, you water more, that kind of helps ele elevate it um, as far as the chili thrips. And unfortunately, we have those insects passed in our area here in Houston, Texas. So if you don't have them in your area, that is a truly blessing to have because they can cause so much dis uh, destruction and put roses or even other plants in distress. So I know some people, they, they will trim, they will cut the damages, but um, I've been experimenting and just leave some, leave them on the bush. And then if some of them look horrible, then I'll just remove. But if they don't look too bad, then I just let keep them there until um, the flower opens up and everything. But uh, these are a few days old. And of course this one just opened not too long ago and it's so pretty. So I have a few more, as you can see but it's forming everywhere so i think it's going to be a great for fall flush coming up pretty soon with raspberry cream twirl rose clamber so it's pretty strong and resilient despite having so much pest damage and it's, uh, it has put on a lot of growth i mean over there that <laughs> That cane is super, super tall. And this one right here has many flowers. Well, I was hoping to be able to make this video before the sun comes out. This one is pretty, just open up as well. So hopefully I'll We'll remember to make another video of it when um, it's in full.
splash of flower.